Welcome to MarTech Challenge, enabling Tilium's Universal Data Hub via Google Tag Manager. My name is Dan George, and I'm the Solutions Consulting Operations Manager at Tilium. Tilium's Universal Data Hub can be fed data from multiple sources, including, but not limited, to Tilium IQ. What does this mean? It means any vendor or system that could trigger data to Tilium can enable your business to gain more insight into your visitors. Google Tag Manager, while similar to Tilium IQ, acts as one such vendor. So let's talk about some of the configurations that are required to enable this. Within Google Tag Manager, there should be two triggers and two custom HTML tags. And then within Tilium IQ and our UDH, there are a couple more configurations to make. So let's see those in action. In Google Tag Manager and the triggers, you should have two triggers, one for DOM ready, Nothing special here, this, this is just a default configuration, as well as one for all link clicks. Again, this is just a default integration uh, that you can add via Google Tag Manager. Once those are two are added, we can go into the Tags tab and enable the Tilium UTAG.js library. This is a custom HTML tag, and you can see here there's some custom script that we built, which we can easily provide to you. And the purpose of this is to grab each array item from the data layer .push and aggregate it into a single object that Tilium can read. Similarly, you can add the utag.link library, and the purpose of this is to somewhat override the data layer.push so that we can listen for it and also call the utag.link method that Tilium has. And this will allow you to complete any link tracking event. So utag.js library for page loads and utag.link for all those link clicks on the website. So within Google Tag Manager, these are the only four configurations that we need to make. Within Tilium IQ, you'll need to add the Tilium Collect tag. This is what's responsible for gathering the data and triggering it off to the UDH. So let's see this data actually feeding into the Universal Data Hub. Within the UDH, we're in the Live Events feed. So anytime an event occurs on a website, we'll see that feed through our system. So I have a test page that I have set up and triggers an event off to, uh, to Tilium. And this is tagged with Google Tag Manager. And if I come back into the live events feed, any second now we'll see this v feed uh, fill in in the live events pane. So here's our event. It tells us all the information about this page. Um, this is standard Tilium information that we have available, such as the environment, the uh, Tilium account, some of the timing data in regard to this page. But more importantly, we have information that we've declared in a data layer dot push on the web page, such as page type. So now all this information has fed into the UDH and we can then use it to start building event attributes, which also allow us to build attributes for audience stream and data access. For example, I can take this page type attribute and we can go to the enrich and attributes. I can add a new attribute that's of scope event and we're going to keep that as universal variable. This is going to be a string type. And from here, we declare that variable. And now it's available for audience stream to use. This can also be enabled for event DB. So if we come in here and edit the configurations, you can see that manage the redshift for events, previously called event DB, is a checkbox that you can enable to send this information across the data access. So these are the configurations that we had to make to enable the Tilium Universal Data Hub to accept data from Google Tag Manager. Thank you for watching today's challenge, and we'll see you next time.